During the Cold War, the Soviet Union and the United States were engaged in a competition to develop the most advanced military aircraft. Both sides sought to gain an advantage over the other, resulting in the production of numerous aircraft. Some of the notable ones include large bombers like the B-1 Lancer and the Tu-160 Blackjack. These two bombers are particularly noteworthy. In fact, the Rockwell B-1 Lancer and the Russian Tu-160 Blackjack may resemble each other visually and have some similarities in their intended roles, but they are ultimately distinct aircraft. Until recently, the B-1 and the Tu-160 are still in use by their own air forces and are both essential to the Army's strategic requirements. But how do these two aircraft compare to one another? In this video, we will particularly discuss the comparison between the two supersonic bomber B-1 and the Tu-160. Stay tuned! First of all, let's have a look at the history of both aircraft. B-1 Lancer The B-1 Lancer is a strategic bomber that was developed by Rockwell International for the United States Air Force. The aircraft was first conceived in the 1970s as a replacement for the aging fleet of B-52 Stratofortress that had been in service since the 1950s. The B-1 underwent several changes during its development. The original design called for a supersonic bomber that would be able to fly at Mach 2.2, but this was later scaled back to a subsonic design due to budget constraints and concerns about the aircraft's fuel efficiency. The B-1 also faced several setbacks and delays during its development, including a cancellation of the program by President Jimmy Carter in 1977 and its subsequent revival by President Ronald Reagan in 1981. The B-1 finally entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 1986. It has been used in several conflicts, including Operation Desert Storm in 1991, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. A total of 100 B-1 bombers were built, and the aircraft remains in service today, although it is slated to be retired in the coming years and replaced by the B-21 Raider. Tu-160 The Tupolev Tu-160, also known as Blackjack, is a supersonic, variable-sweep-wing heavy strategic bomber that was developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. It was intended to be the replacement for the Tupolev Tu-95, which had been in service since the 1950s. The Tu-160 made its first flight in 1981 and entered service with the Soviet military in 1987. It is currently in service with the Russian Air Force. A total of 35 Tu-160 bombers have been built, making it one of the largest fleets of strategic bombers in the world. The Tu-160 has undergone several modernizations and upgrades over the years to improve its capabilities. The Tu-160 has seen service in several conflicts, including the Russian military intervention in the Syrian Civil War. It has also been used for long-range patrols and training sessions and has set several aviation records, including a record for the longest supersonic flight. The Tu-160 is expected to remain in service with the Russian military for the foreseeable future. Unit Cost It is generally believed that the B-1 bomber was a more expensive aircraft to develop and produce than the Tu-160. A total of 100 B-1 bombers were produced, with a unit cost around $283.1 million as of 1989. The Tu-160, on the other hand, were produced a total of 35 units with a unit cost of $270 million as of 2020, making it less costly than the Lancer. However, it is worth noting that these two are a rough estimation, and the actual costs of the aircraft programs may have been higher or lower. Design and Capability The B-1 Lancer and Tu-160 Blackjack are both strategic bombers designed for long-range, high-speed flight. However, there are some notable differences between the two aircraft in terms of their design and capabilities. One of the most noticeable differences is in their size and shape. The B-1 Lancer is a long, slender aircraft with a pointed nose and swept wings while the Tu-160 Blackjack has a more blunt, triangular shape with straight wings. The Tu-160 is also significantly larger than the B-1, with a length of 177 feet and a wingspan of 182 feet 9 inches, compared to the most updated B-1's length of 147 feet and a wingspan of 137 feet.
Another key difference between the two aircraft is in their engines. The B-1 Lancer is powered by four General Electric F-101 GE-102 engines, which give it a top speed of around Mach 1.25, 945 miles per hour. The TU-160, on the other hand, is powered by four Kuznetsov NK-321 afterburning turbofan engines, which give it a top speed of around Mach 2.05, 1,380 miles per hour. These engines are located under the wing's shoulders, and an adjustable vertical wedge is built into the air inlet. In addition, both the B-1 and the TU-160 are capable of carrying a wide range of weapons, including bombs and missiles. B-1 has a range of 7,456 miles and can accommodate 24 nuclear bombs, or equal to 84,500 pound conventional bombs. It carries a variety of bombs and missiles, including the AGM-86B air-launched cruise missile and the GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM. On the contrary, the TU-160 has a range of 7,643 miles and can carry weapons in two internal bays, which each of them can accommodate 4,492 pounds of free-fall weapons. It carries various bombs and missiles, such as the KH-55 cruise missile and the Cobb 500KR television guided bomb. More importantly, the aircraft can also accommodate extra weapons externally. In total, TU-160 is capable of carrying 88,185 pounds worth of weaponry. In general, both B-1 and TU-160 are similar that they are both supersonic strategic bombers used for long-range bombing missions. However, the B-1 is slightly slower and has shorter range than the TU-160. The TU-160 also has a larger payload capacity, meaning it can carry more weapons. Avionics Systems The B-1 Lancer is built with an advanced avionics system that consists of electronic and computer-based systems that enable it to carry out a variety of tasks such as navigation, communication, radar, and weapons control. The avionics system of the B-1 is extremely dependable and has built-in redundancies to guarantee that the aircraft can keep flying even if any of its components fail. The defensive countermeasure system is designed to detect and defend against threats such as surface-to-air missiles and enemy aircraft. A crucial part of the avionics system on the B-1 Lancer is the radar system, which is used for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface search and tracking, also for terrain mapping and terrain following. A communication system also includes a crucial one, which allow the crew to communicate with ground-based controllers and other aircraft. The avionics system of the TU-160 is a complex system that includes a variety of electronic and computer-based systems that enable the aircraft to perform its various functions. Some of the key components of the TU-160's avionics system include navigation and communications equipment, including radar and radios, electronic warfare and defensive countermeasure systems, including radar warning receivers and flare dispensers, targeting and weapon systems, including the aircraft weapons control computers and various sensors and cameras used for targeting and bomb delivery, flight control systems, including flight control computers and various sensors and displays used to monitor and control the aircraft's performance. Overall, the avionics system of the B-1 and the TU-160 are similar in terms of their capabilities and functions. Both aircraft are equipped with advanced radar, defensive countermeasures, and communications and navigation equipment that allow them to operate effectively in a variety of missions. However, it will be noteworthy to witness which one of these two planes stay in service with its individual military for the longest.